Hi guys, today I'm going to teach you how to compute the tolerance value and computing the higher limit and lower limit value of a resistor. Tolerance is very important in resistor because this will be the basis if the resistor can still be used or need to replace. So steps in computing the tolerance value. So first, you need to compute the tolerance value of a resistor. In computing it, we will going to use the formula TV, which stands for tolerance value, is equal to value, multiply it by the tolerance. The second is compute the higher limit value. So this will be the formula. Higher limit is equal to value plus the tolerance value. And the third one is to compute the lower limit by using the formula lower limit is equal to the value minus the tolerance value. So note, convert first the tolerance to decimal number before multiplying to the value. So 1% is equal to 0 0.01. 2% is equal to 0 0.02. 5% is equal to 0 0.05. 10% is equal to 0 0.1. And 20% is equal to 0 0.2. Now, let us proceed to an example. Suppose we have 820 ohms, positive, negative, 5%. The positive sign on the tolerance means that will be the higher limit. You're going to add 5% to the value, while the negative sign on the tolerance means you're going to subtract 5% to the value. So let us uh, proceed to the formula. So the tolerance value is equal to value multiplied by the tolerance. As I have said earlier, we need to convert first the percentage into decimal number. The 5% is equal to 0 0.05. So we have the value, which is 820. You're going to multiply it to 0 0.05, which is equivalent to 5%. So if you multiply 820 to 0 0.05, we will have an answer of 41 ohms. So the tolerance value is equal to 41 ohms. It means you need to add and subtract 41 ohms to 820 ohms, which is the value. Now, let us proceed to the higher limit. So the formula for the higher limit is equal to the value plus the tolerance value. So the value is equal to 820. So you're going to add 41 to get the higher limit. So 820 plus 41 is equal to 861 ohms. Next, we're going to compute the lower limit. So we're going to use the formula value minus tolerance value. So let us uh, proceed. So 820 minus 41. So 820 minus 41 is equal to 779 ohms. So the lower limit is 779 ohms and the higher limit is 861. So we have the range here. So this, uh, the resistor must measure between 779 to 861 ohms. If the resistor measured between the lower limit and to the higher limit, the resistor can still be used. But if you measure beyond the lower limit and the higher limit, the resistor is need to replace. For example, if you measure 775 ohms, to the resistor with a value of 820 ohms with 5% tolerance, the resistor is need to replace. 
if you measured 794 ohms. So the resistor is, is still good because it is or the measurement is between 779 ohms to 861 ohms. Let's have an, an, another example. Suppose we have 2.5 kilo ohms, positive, negative, 10%. So first, we're going to find the tolerance value by using the formula TV is equal to value multiplied by the tolerance. So the value is 2.5 kilo ohms or 2.5 K multiplied by 0.1, which is 10%. So as you can see, I do not remove the prefix K to indicate that the value is in kilo. So if you multiply 2.5 K by 0.1, the answer is 0. 25 kilo ohms. So our tolerance value is 0 0.25 kilo ohms. This value will go into the to add and subtract to, va to the value to get the higher limit and the lower limit. So the higher limit is equal to the value plus the tolerance value. So we have the value which is the 2.5k plus 0.25k. So if we add that, we will have an answer of 2.75 kilo ohms. That will be the higher limit. Next, we have the formula for the lower limit. So value minus tolerance value. So we have the value of 2.5k and then we're going to subtract 0.25k to 2.5k. So we will have an answer of 2.25 kilo ohms. So it means the lower limit is equal to 2.25 kilo ohms and the higher limit is 2.75 kilo ohms. So this will be the range to indicate that the resistor can still be used or need to replace. Once the measurement is out on this range, it means the resistor is out of tolerance and need to replace. But if the measurement is in between 2.25 kilo ohms to 2.75 kilo ohms, the resistor can still be used because it is good. Again, if the measurement is in between 2.25 kilo ohms to 2.75 kilo ohms, the resistor is good. Let's have another example. Suppose we have 1.8 ohms, positive, negative, 20% value of a resistor. So we will first get the tolerance value by multiplying the value to the tolerance. So 20% is equal to 0 0.2. So 1.8 multiplied by 0 0.2. So we will have a 0 0.36 ohms. So this will be the tolerance value. This value will be added and subtracted to the value to get the range of a tolerance value. So higher limit will be value plus tolerance value. So 1.8 plus 0.36 is equal to 2.16 ohms. So the higher limit is 2.16 ohms. And then for the lower limit, value minus the tolerance value. So 1.8 minus 0.36, we will get 1.44 ohms. So the range or the tolerance range will be 1.44 ohms to 2.16 ohms. So this will be the range to indicate that the resistor is good. If 
the value, or sorry, if the measurement is beyond this range, the resistor is out of tolerance and need to replace. Example, if you measured 2.5 ohms, it is beyond the higher limit, the resistor is out of tolerance and need to replace. Next, we have 520 giga ohms, positive, negative, 2%. So 2% is equal to 0 0.02. So we need to com compute the tolerance value. So value times the tolerance. So the value is 520 G or giga times 0 0.02. So if we multiply 520 G or giga by 0 0.02, we will have the value of 10.4 giga ohms. So this 10.4 giga ohms will be added and subtracted to 520 G to get the range of a resistor. So the higher limit will be computed by value plus the tolerance value. So 520 giga plus 10.4 giga. So we'll have 530.4 giga ohms. And then the lower limit will be equal to the value minus the tolerance value. So 520 giga minus 10.4 giga, we will have 509.6 giga ohms. So the lower limit is 509.6 giga ohms and the higher limit is 530.4 giga ohms. So the range will be 509.6 giga ohms to 530.4 giga ohms. So this will be the basis if the resistor with a value of 520 giga ohms will can be used or need to replace. So if the measurement of a resistor is beyond this range, the resistor is need to reply, replace because it is out of tolerance. But if the measurement measurement of a resistor is between 509.6 giga ohms to 530.4 giga ohms the resistor is good let's have another example 5 ohms positive negative 1% so 1%, if you convert it to decimal, we will have a 0 0.01. So let's have to compute the tolerance value. So value multiplied by the tolerance. So value is 5, then multiply to 0 0.01. So we'll have 0 0.05 ohm. Then for the higher limit, value plus the tolerance value so 5 plus 0 0.05 so we will have a higher limit of 5.05 ohms and then we have the lower limit value minus the tolerance value so 5 minus 0 0.05 we will have our lower limit to 4.95 ohms so the range of the resistor will be 4.95 ohms to 5.05 ohms. So again, if the measurement of a resistor with a value of 5 ohms, positive, negative 1%, is beyond this range, beyond this range, the resistor is need to replace but if the measurement is in between 
this range, the resistor is still good and it can be used. Clear? So thanks for listening. So that will be the computation of the tolerance value, the higher limit, and the lower limit. Good luck and God bless.